It may be getting colder, but winter is a wonderful time to get outside and go exploring. Winter walks are a fantastic opportunity to visit some of English Heritage's most atmospheric properties at their quietest. To help you make the most of your winter adventures, English Heritage has a selection of walks that connect some of their most beautiful properties. These walks are for people of all abilities and all fitness levels and are a brilliant way to explore the landscapes that surround their historic sites. Today we're on the North Yorkshire Moors, walking the two and a half mile route from Houndsley Castle to Reve Abbey. It's a gentle walk along paths and country lanes, although there are some steep steps and it can get a little muddy at times. It takes about an hour and a half and allow time to visit both properties. You can walk this route in either direction, but today we're starting at the stunning Helmsley Castle because it's easy to get to and there's easy parking. Before you get going, make sure you plan your route on a map so you can fully enjoy the walk. And also make sure to check opening times online so you don't miss out. Be sure to also check out other English heritage sites in the area, especially the smaller free ones that you can include along your route. You'll want to come prepared for the weather, so warm clothes, decent outdoor shoes, maybe even a waterproof are recommended. It's sunny now, but this is England after all. Originally constructed out of wood around 1120, Helmsley Castle has evolved over the centuries. From a mighty medieval fortress to a luxurious Tudor mansion, a Civil War stronghold, and finally, a romantic ruin. There's plenty to visit, so when you're planning your route, make sure you allow enough time to see everything at your own pace. It's amazing to come and stand in such a historic place. You just really get a sense of how much there would have been going on here and how busy it would have been you can really imagine what it would be like in the past. We're now leaving Houndsley Castle, walking along the Cleveland Way to the stunning ruins of Revo Abbey. According to a 12th century description, high hills surround the valley, clothed by trees, encircling it like a crown. Sounds absolutely stunning. Can't wait to take a look. One of the best bits about this walk is that it's not too long, so you'll have plenty of time to enjoy both the historic sites and the stunning Yorkshire landscape. Something that I love to do is imagine how a place would look and feel in the past. And it's amazing to think that we could be walking in the same footsteps as the medieval monks who used to live in this area. Most people drive to Revo Abbey, but walking here for us has been so brilliant. As we approached from the valley, we were just struck by how the abbey stood against the landscape and it just really added to our whole day. The Revo Abbey ruins are some of the most impressive and extensive monastic remains in Britain to date. What's amazing is that it survives almost to its full height with the east end of the church dominating over the ruins. You can walk through the maze of monastic buildings and really start to see where the Cistercian monks lived, worked and cared for the sick. English Heritage members get free access to these sites. This means that you can stay as long or as short as you like and come back as many times as you like. So if you don't fit it all in, in one trip, you can come back again and again. If you want to learn more about the site, it's always worth speaking to English Heritage staff. They have so much knowledge and they're always really happy to share it with visitors. The other great thing about this walk is that there's a cafe so you can stop and re-energise. Getting outside and exploring is an enriching and soul-filling experience, particularly when you have others to enjoy it with you. 
I'm absolutely loving seeing more and more people get into the outdoors and also sharing it with their own communities. I used to think that you had to get away over winter, but there is so much about winter in England that you can really enjoy. Whether it's the dew and the frost on the ground in the mornings or crisp wintry walks. Today, we've really enjoyed visiting both of these English heritage sites and the walk that connects the two. It's been great to learn about the history of the country and just to spend some quality time together out in nature. <laughs>